Okay, take two. You're supposed to do this. <laughs> um, where was I? Okay, let's start over again. Uh, good morning, guys. This is a uh, take three. <laughs> uh, morning, guys. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in North Georgia. So I wanted to tell everyone thanks for following along. I know that the Mustang project is, is getting a little long and drawn out and people want to see results, but they're coming. They really are. Um, I feel like we're probably about halfway to actually getting the car to where it runs and stops. Enough for a test drive anyway. So There are other projects in the pipeline. Um, some unusual stuff I'm working on uh, acquiring a strange little piece of equipment from a buddy of mine some kind of homemade little tractor type deal so it'll be interesting if I can get that thing there will always be some new how-to videos along the way um, but also while I have your attention I'm also looking for a 57 to 72 Ford pickup truck or a 61 to 77 Dodge pickup truck I'm not interested in the drivetrain um, all I'm really interested in is the body. I want to make sure that the body has no major, major damage, but has all the trim and all the glass. Um, I've got plans to put it on another chassis. So if anybody's out there watching that has something like that that's, you know, that's affordable, let me know. And, oh, and also I'm not interested in step side trucks. I'm only interested in fleet side pickup trucks. Short beds or long? Short beds, obviously. I'll take a long bed if I have to, if it's the price is right. But I prefer a short bed, obviously. Um, so let's get on with the video. Thanks for watching. Got a little sneak peek on some of the stuff we ordered from Summit. Got us a nice pair of uh, polished valve covers. I don't want to take them all the way out, but I'll just give you a little sneak peek of them. Boy, those things look sweet, don't they? And from Summit, via the land of semiconductors and weather balloons, aka made in China. Polished intake. Boy, that looks sweet too. Right now. <laughs> hey guys, uh, our plan for the day is to clean up and scuff these patch filler panels. Filler panels. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like keep calling them patch panels, but I do. Anyway, these filler panels that I've welded in, I'm going to get those scuffed up and spray them with some uh, some undercoat to kind of protect the metal. There, we're going to tack weld the crush leaves in for the K member and we're also going to lift the car on up and I'm going to put two two big old fat welds on the front of the K member and two on the sides or one on each side if you know what I mean but anyway that's what's going to hold the K member in we're not just going to rely on the bolts to do it I'd rather have a weld on it so we've got the K member in where, where we're happy with it car should track nice and straight going down the road everything's where it should be so let's get some work done
supervisor, employee. <laughs>
what them. those those headers right there are good because it would most likely fit in this chassis, but I know they'll fit in that chassis over there. And the reason why I wanted that particular part number is because everybody says they'll clear the spark plugs on the GT40P heads, which is they they've got enough. See how the see how these spark plugs come out at an angle like that? Mm -hmm. Well, the GT40P heads they they come out more like this. They're almost they're almost straight, so they get in the way of the. On this side, it's not a huge deal because the exhaust goes down that way, mm -hmm. but on this side. On the number, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven, it's it wants to get right into the header, and those are shaped in such a way that it'll help clear it. So, hey, it looks good. Okay. Sorry, babe. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say cool out or whatever. You know. I didn't mean it like that. I mean, I just didn't want to be a badass for the camera. Huh? I get it. I'm not. I'm not a badass, y'all. I said try. All right, guys, we got a light day planned for today. I'm just going to scuff this up and give it another coat of paint. Um, since we're only using spray paint, it's not it's not the most durable stuff in the world. So we're going to uh, put at least three coats on here because this is what's going to take the most abuse, riding down the road, rock chips, bugs, whatever. Um, so we're going to try to get as many coats on this as I can. I'm just going to set you guys down right here. professional all right I got a little bit of masking tape up here to protect Wendy's protect Wendy's hammer tone she'll kick my butt if I ruin it so uh, 
I'm gonna pause the video while I shake this because I know there's nothing exciting about that. I'm going to go home and watch a little YouTube. I suggest you do too. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And, uh, uh oh. Um, thank you. So we'll be back at it tomorrow night. Hopefully, sliding the engine and transmission in. And that will be our goal for the week. And, uh, then I'll start plumbing the brake lines, plumbing the fuel lines, transmission lines, things like that. Um, all the little nitpicky stuff that we can kind of do over the week. And uh, Wendy's got plans tomorrow, and I think I'm going to ride down to Summit. Saturday. Yes, Saturday. Okay, I'm, I'm already thinking that's Friday. So Wendy has plans for Saturday with one of her girlfriends. And I'll be riding down to Summit Racing probably to pick up some more parts. And, uh, this may or may not be the end of this video. I don't know. I'll know whenever I'm editing it. So if it is, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And if it isn't, see you in the next clip. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, yesterday when I was in here, I, uh, I put these homemade EGR block off plates. Um, I just used the factory EGR stuff and welded the holes up. Um, and to get this one to go back on there, I moved the dipstick. So naturally, this is what's happening now. So, we're gonna... so what I saw on the internet was right. Uh, it does just have an O-ring for a seal here. So, and it is mashed pretty flat. So we're going to take this old one out. It's kind of pliable though. That's kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah. And, uh. There we go. Huh? It's a little loose, but it'll be all right. Now let me get a little bit of a. Uh... Oh, hey, oil right here. Are you looking for loop? <laughs> right there. Imagine that. It's stuck back down in there. Hopefully, it won't leak again. say hopefully it won't leak again now you watch just as soon as I put transmission fluid in there it'll start pouring out again uh, all right. okay so you can see how far offset this one is so I need to figure out what the deal is I just want to kind of So the offset motor mount fits on the passenger side of the motor. All right, the time has come. We're going to try and slide the engine in. So uh, let's get to it. I'm used to working on Jeeps where I can just pour everything out and, and know where everything went, but now this is kind of this is a little different. Uh -oh. I think 
this is the first car I've ever put an engine in that I actually care about the paint. So, uh, the paint on just the radiator support? That and the, uh, um, Because the rest of the paint is kind of, you know. Well, yeah. Not there. Like paint in the engine bay. <laughs> you know what I meant. Uh oh. Runaway nut. Yeah. All right. Let's make sure we don't cover that up. Let me get one more. This is what happens to the harbor brake moving blankets when they get old. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Charcoal. Pretty much. Or ashes. Yeah, yeah that's more like it. Ashes. ashes. Alright. There we go. So uh, this what that started out at? Yeah, pretty much. Um, well, except that one was black, obviously. If, if you like the blue ones better, that's fine. I mean, that way you'll have something. Yeah. What do you want? One more. Pick that one. There. There we go. All right. There you go. All right, yeah, that's better. Let's take it one more. Hang on, let me, uh, let me reposition this. Alrighty. That's good. Alright, that looks pretty good. And it's not going to be top heavy, right? That's right. Over it. <laughs> These darn things, they just go wherever they want to go. All right, let it go. It's barely right here, babe. It's barely hitting it. So okay. that's why I'm keeping it up. Okay. Somebody needs to invent a shop crane that's affordable but has a steering wheel on it. That would be awesome. So any of you inventors out there, give, us a, give, give it a try. Mechanics all over the world. Well, okay. thank you. It's, it's really close to the radiator support. Well, I mean, we gotta we gotta tilt it. I mean, we can't I know. do I'm anything just else. So we'll get it. So what do I do? You just hang on a second, and I will let it tilt down. It's very close. that again. So I need to I don't use this thing all that often but when I do it's priceless. It beats the hell out of them other ones. It just, it just makes adjustments so much easier. Okay. Tell me when I can stop or when I need to stop. That's probably good. Good? Okay. All right, now let's uh, lower it. Huh? Yeah, lower it. There you go. <laughs>
over here that I can put under the transmission. Tilt it. Okay. Uh, let me get this over here. Not ready? Go ahead. Yeah. Now go ahead. There you go. Come on in. Mine too. Alright. Now we're gonna have to uh all right since those are in, I can lift this up. Now the transmission. And get the jack under it and get the mount on. 